Hey, welcome Bobcat fans to this edition of Tuttle Time with Coach Victor Tuttle. Coach, how's it going? It's great. I have my own show, Tuttle Time. <laughs> Tuttle Time. Hey, we branded this one just for you. Thank you. I feel honored. Well, thanks for coming out here and joining us today. Uh, we wanted to talk about um, a few things you do here in the district and who you are and just kind of meet Coach Tuttle. Yeah. So, I'm hiding in the back. Well, how, how long have you been in the district? Uh, three years. I've lived in Hallsville for 13 years, though. Okay. So you you lived in Hallsville. You just now decided to come to work for us? Yeah, just decided to start, start coaching here, yeah. And, and what, what made you decide to come on over to the, to the real team? I like the people over here. They're good. Every time I was at Kilgore and we'd compete against Hallsville with anything, and, you know, just – Seemed a lot more smiles on that side of the end. So, <laughs> so how long were you in Kilgore? Ten years. Oh wow, ten, ten years. years. And what 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 was your job assignment over there that compared to, to here? What did you do over there? Oh, I did a lot of stuff. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, scouted every football game before we played them. Uh, high school football, junior high football, middle school basketball, and high school good. and uh, middle school track. So, how long have you been coaching? I think 17 years. 17 years. Yeah, football, 17. basketball, baseball, or? Uh, football, basketball, track. Uh, that's the main three. And here, you, you coached a swim team. Swim team, that's correct. Now, how did you get into coaching the swim team? Is that just like something you've always wanted to do? That's your passion? or? It seems like a challenge, and I like challenges. I, mean, I really do. So how many, how many folks we got on the swim team? This year we have nine student-athletes. Nine. Wow. Nine student-athletes. Great. I know in the past we've had, what, two or three at a time? It's fluctuated. Yeah. yeah. I know when I first started here 15, 16 years ago, we had like two, you know, and that, I don't know the whole. Yeah, it's, it hadn't been yeah. long. I mean, so we swim out of the Longview uh, uh, Swim Center? Is that yeah, right? yeah. We, we go out uh, here it's to do a healthy living and then sometimes a Longview ISD swimming pool. Right, right. So talk a little bit about the swim team. We just had a meet, not what, this past weekend? We, uh, two weeks ago. We two had, weeks we had a ago? Yeah. That was, that was a good competition. Um, we went to Tyler. We competed against – you know, Tyler Schools are also competing against T High, one of our big rivals, White House, one of our big rivals, and Knack, one of our big rivals that we'll see in district. I have some young swimmers. I want to see how they do against that competition, and I'm happy. So, whatever, help me out here. Whenever you go to the swim, swim meet, do you pick out? I know in, in tennis you have the, the singles and doubles. How do you, how do you pick, like, you do the, the, the fast swim and the back swim and the, the frog swim? Journal, what would they excel best at? Like, what, what's best for them as a swimmer and, and what's best for them to succeed? And it doesn't always matter. They might enjoy this 50, 50 meters, but they might be better at the 500. So right. it, it was their best chance to be successful and succeed. And that's how we do it during the week, uh, myself and Coach Bugalip. So – so do you do you tell them uh, do you pick out who's going to do the certain events? Do they do all the Olympic events? I've seen the the, the Olympics. Yeah, I I, I, I I pick some, and a lot of they have a big say in it too, because I want them to be happy and successful. And it, we we talk about it before the week, you know what what they want to try. Maybe try this at a smaller meet right, before we go right. try a bigger meet. Yeah, whatever brings them success. So how does a meet look? Yeah, that's what uh, I was for, just asking. Like on a timeline. Timeline, kind of like a track meet. Uh, okay. Get there at seven in the morning, and hopefully you're done by five p.m. So right. I, I guess what I want to know is, is, is like, do, do you have how many swimmers at one time do you go out there? How, how many Halsel how, swimmers at one time? How, just, how many Halsel swimmers? Sometimes we've had two swimmers competing in an event. Well, a lot of times it might just be a single. You have you know boys go, girls go, boys right. go, girls go. Um, so the most we've had competing against each other was three. Um, but generally, you know, I just put one athlete per event. Sometimes two. So I know we cross country. These kids may run three miles to warm up. Yeah. How's the swim? There's like practice laps? Yeah, yeah. We, we, that's why we get there so early. Uh, okay. I, I always try to get there early enough. They can warm up, stay loose, and compete. So, yeah, we'll, we'll warm up for 15, 20 minutes. And it's just swimming. Yeah, just straight swimming, practicing our diving in. Yeah. Practice okay. diving in. You yeah. just jump in the water. No, you don't jump in the water. You do that, you got bad re resistance. You know, we want a good angle going in the water. And so we practice that. Everyone's boards are different. You know, so yeah, I, we go there. Are we having a diving competition or a swimming competition? Swimming competition, but you got to dive into the water. You just don't plop in there and start swimming. You know, we want a good angle as you're diving in the water. I think the right. cannonballs are bad resistance. Yeah, that, that would hurt our time terribly. So you, you, okay, now, all right. Now we're doing math when we're doing swimming. A little bit. Doing resistance to jump in the water. Yes. We, we, we want a good angle, so you know you can go. So, to, so do y'all got them fancy swim suits that 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 are? Yeah, tech suits. Yeah, they're three hundred and fifty dollars each, and we have wow. a couple. Good. And they're only good for five to ten meets, and you're supposed to buy a new one. Do what now? 
They're only good for five to ten swim meets. The but see, 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 that's not like a tennis racket or daggum cleats, but you can make the whole season with them. Five meets and that's it? Yeah, that's and it. And how many meets do we have a year? If we're successful, we have ten. Wow. I, didn't, I did not realize them things would wear out on you. I well, they, they do. You know, they're, they're super stretchy. If I pulled out a boy's suit, I mean, in the packaging it's here and it has to stretch super wide. It's almost like wearing like fish skin on them. There's zero resistance. Huh. huh. That's interesting. That, I, now you got me. That, I'm, I'm, it, I'm yeah. curious. Where's the failure point? Just in, you know, armpit, stretch I hope. You know, points uh, for, like that. It, the seams around the waist. Seams, okay. Yeah, that's where it starts breaking down. And that then is you're gonna have, you're gonna have drag. So what what when does our district start? When do we when we kick off district? Officially district, that is gonna start in January. So how do how do we look in district? How do we our girls look awesome? I, yeah. I've already told the A D go Uh-oh. ahead and go ahead and book Austin. Wow. Yeah, that's a little common, moving, right? Call it, them the it, shot. It, it hey. is a little bit. Well when you compete against the girls that went to state and you're beating them. With the freshman team, you know, it's... That's pretty good right there. Gives, gives you a lot of hope, and our boys look good, too. They definitely get the regional. Talk to me about the, how many girls you got, man, and sh- to put the names out there real quick. The girls, I gave me give big shout-outs. Uh, Alexis, uh, she's our sophomore. She, no, sorry, she's a junior this year. She's been to regional two years in a row. Looking for her to come back. Her younger sister, Ariana, she's one of the fastest girls I have. I mean, she's the one that beat T high, Knack, wow. uh, last week. Uh, Christian, he's one of our young men. He's a sophomore. He's getting better each week. You know, his, his time's improving. So hopefully we can get him out of district this year. Uh, you know, Emiliano, Emiliano's been to regional two years in a row. Came that close to going to state. So hopefully he can push on, make it to state this year. Uh, Jack, Jack's another good swimmer for us. Uh, he went to regional last year, did well. You know, and then I have uh, Layla. You know, she's another freshman, so I have a lot of big things I hope she can accomplish this year. Got a young squad out there. Yes. Well, Coach, we appreciate you taking your time out to come talk with us. Gerard over here, he does a great job for me, help him out. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. I, I like to think though, uh, Bubba's thirty three, Longview, and Roof oh, yeah. Masters of Hals- Hallswell, yeah. excuse me, who uh, make this possible for us yeah, weekly. Got, got the Bubba shirt on and everything. It looks good. Yeah. Thank y'all for that. This has been Tuttle time or time with Tuttle. Time with Tuttle. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.